I'm off out on the Energica with David. He's just ordered himself a new bike. Well, I was surprised. Will you be? See you shortly. So, David's leading me to his new bike. He's trading in the beautiful RT um, for something else. Uh, he's not told me what it is. I'm a few ideas. What do you think? Anyway, keep watching the video and you will find out very soon. <laughs> Are we trading up or down? The main uh, benefit of today as well is the forecast yesterday was for rain all morning, but now it's not for rain all morning. It's yeah. dry. So. But I think we might be out of luck later on. Yeah, there's do dark you... skies to the left, David. So you think I'm going to turn up back at my house with a brand new motorbike, which is covered in... In thin mud. Yeah. 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 Right, yeah. OK. Never mind. Anyway, that's what bikes are for, for riding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so David's leading me to Sycamore. Is it Sycamore these days? Yeah, Sycamore, Sycamore. BMW Motorhead at Peterborough. So one assumes I'm buying another BMW then. I one suppose. would assume so. But you never know. RT, or could it be something else like a GS? Who knows? Considering David takes the piss out of me all the time on the GS being common as much. Can't be that. Must be another RT. Or maybe, oh, what's that six-cylinder one? You're not going for the six-cylinder one, are you, David? Yeah, that could be that 1600. Oh, That's a very nice bike. Ah, oh, dear yeah. hellfire. <laughs> well, look, it's another motorbike place, there. Yeah, another motorbike shop there, is it? I don't know. Oh, they? Yeah. No, Royal Enfield. Ah, they've... Oh, that is Sycamore, then. Yeah, yeah they've moved yeah. it, haven't they? So it's, right. uh, they haven't now, got space for it here, I guess. Bike parking only. Yeah, park your bike up. David's RT. Nothing wrong with it, David. <laughs> it's hardly a scratch on no. it, actually. So it's the same when I swap my BMW. Nothing wrong with it at no. all. No. But it's just nice, isn't it? No, I don't know. It's just lovely to have a new bike. So exciting. Is, is this it? Could be, couldn't it? Oh, dear, that looks good, doesn't that it? That does look nice. Doesn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Well done, David. Well, not, not too much money either. <laughs> no, bargain. <laughs> bargain. Yeah, I think two of those. So six cylinders then, David? Six cylinders, why not? Lovely, isn't it? That is beautiful. Nice and Ours, light. It looks a bit heavy, really, David. Um, Surely yeah, you low. Want... It's heavy and low, isn't it? You know. Yeah. Like a Harley well. Davidson, Martin. Yeah. So, I think you'd be better off with something a bit lighter, David. Right, sir. What, what do you suggest? Well, what about this bike? What, Cummins and Smart GS? Common as much GS, yeah. Common as much GS, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, looks very nice, doesn't it, I think. Yeah, I think it looks a nicer colour than your GS, actually, Mark. Nicer so, colour than my GS. Uh, Cheeky bugger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks nice. No, well, we'll go for this one, then. Yeah, we'll go for this one. Obviously, he already got the plan there, look. This is Ian, if you want to buy a nice GS. Wow, David, this looks the bollocks. I think it looks nice. And it looks beautiful. So yeah. you can sit with a beer or coffee on your driveway and just enjoy looking at it. All right, yeah, but it is raining back home, you've just told me. Yeah, it's raining back home, but it's all right. Good excuse to get down and clean it, clean all the mud off. Yeah, that's the next thing, isn't it? It's fantastic, isn't it? Very good. Yep. No more taking the piss out of me, David. <laughs> well, I can. You will. You'll find something else. To... I'll find something else. Yeah, it'll be Harley next. <laughs> Harley next. Do you think David's going to get a Harley? <laughs> mm, uh, what, what, well, I've got the Virago. I've got the Virago, which is... You, a, you, I reckon you'll buy a Harley, don't you? How's it feel for comfort? Oh, so far, nice. The seat the seat was tilted too far back for me there. That, yeah. was, a bit, that yeah. was not so nice on my thighs, but uh, it's fine, yeah. It's all looking good? Yeah. Very good. We've adjusted the seat. <laughs> Very good. Right, we're going to get some mud on them now. <laughs> yeah, okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Ian. All the best. Thank you, sir. Take yeah. care. All right. All right, Martin. Yeah, ready? Here we go. Here Hang we on. go. It's a van. It's a van. Oh, you don't want to crash it in the first minute. Yeah, right. Look at that. Looks the bollocks. I'll actually be able to observe the rear. Indicators now, David, won't I? Oh, yeah, for the first time, <laughs> if yeah. I know where they are. 
exactly it. That does look nice from behind. Yeah. Yeah. I can see you're sitting quite low with it. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I quite, I, I quite, I like, I like sitting in a bike as opposed to on a bike. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm so used to it. Very good. I'll put the indicators on so you can see them. Oh, it looks all right. Yeah, I think they're all right until you put your brake lights on, Mark. Yeah. Yeah, it looks all right without the brake lights on. Oh, so far. The handlebars are wider than my RT. Yeah, well, that's off-road, you see. Yeah, different styling, yeah. Yeah, it looks good. 14 degrees. I think with the, uh, I found those, now I swapped over to the other tyres, but the tyres I originally had, they were quite noisy at the front. Right, um... So, uh... I've been watching... Are we going left here, David? Yeah. Since, since I've bought this, I've been watching a few videos, and everybody takes the anarchies off because they're so noisy. Oh, they're terrible. Right, yeah. let's see what happens when you brake with that indicator on. Oh, yeah, you can't really see it. No, no. No, that isn't very clear. I'm glad I'm getting those swapped out. Yeah, so far so good. I think I'm actually a bit lower than I was on the RT. Um, well, the, the suspension's in the low setting. Yeah, I think my, um, I think this seat is a little bit narrower, you see. Oh, well, yeah, another yeah. Thing, another thing I notice is my foot pegs, I think my legs are a bit lower. I don't think my knees are quite as cramped, actually. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's a bit, that's not bad, is it? Excellent. So it'll be interesting to see when we get to the bumpy fen roads how comfortable you find it compared yeah. to coming over in the yeah. RT. Because I, I, I mean, I perhaps wrongly assume that as I've got the suspension on low, that must reduce the travel, must must it? Must, must, it it must. will reduce the travel, yeah. Yeah. Which, if you're on road all the time, I don't suppose that makes no. any difference at all. Well, so I'll keep mine on the auto setting, which, like you says, is medium. But uh, whether it makes much difference, I really don't know. This bike seems already, it seems a bit lighter than mine, actually. Well, it well, is. I know. It I know is it lighter. Is, yeah. 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 You, haven't, you haven't got any top boxes or panniers on there either. Not yet. You, so. But I think with the side panniers, I can't think how that's going to make any difference, because they're low, aren't they? They're yeah. below your body, aren't they? So I'm going to ask shortly for David to give his first impressions of the 2023 BMW R1250 GS Trophy. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Um, but we're going to do that in another video. So thanks for watching today. Thank you from me and David. Bye. Bye. See you soon on Fentor.